So you guys know how much I like the sniper in this game, but today I want to see if this crossbow can be good. Because really, what's a crossbow if not like a primitive sniper rifle? It just happens to be a little bit expensive, so we use our reliable source of income of popping balloons. And we can get the first upgrade for a little bit of faster firing, which is always enjoyable. And then already, by the time this wave is done, we can get the next upgrade. So now we just have a long way to go before actually getting a crossbow. But it's early enough, so that shouldn't be a problem. And the good news is I don't even have to wait to plant a banana tree to afford the crossbow. So I should be able to afford the first one by the time we reach round 10. That is my guess. I am locking it in. So just a few rounds later, just hoping that the extra money bonus at the end of this wave pushes us over the limit. And sure enough, it does. So now we can actually use the crossbow. It is a fun little thing. Pretty simple in design. But here's hoping it is crazy effective. Let's try it on these. Oh, yeah. Pop in the blue ones right away. I like that. And the green ones already. Wow. This is looking very promising for us. And it pops a few of them at a time too. Oh yeah. I can already tell I'm going to like this. So then how much is it for the next upgrade? 2400 already. My goodness. I'll just enjoy popping all of the green balloons that are coming this wave. And I am just going to buy the camo detection so I don't have to worry about that later. So already it is like a fraction of the power of the sniper, which is pretty good. Okay, yellow balloons go down the red. Understandable and manageable. So I feel like the power isn't going to be as strong as a sniper can get, but the fire rate makes up for it. And already, like, popping the green balloons is such a massive benefit. And the bolts just seem to fly straight for a while, so I can pop the ones way at a distance. Very good. So now I just want to line up all the green ones that I can and just pop a lot of them in a line. That is so effective. And it gives us some nice money. So if it's already popping the green ones right away, I wonder if one of the later upgrades can like do a zebra balloon in right away. That would be crazy. And I am all about crazy. And yep, we should be seeing the pink balloon right about now. Gets popped down to blue, which is also super manageable and also incredibly fast. But once they lose all of that, it goes down pretty well. Okay, you know what? Fine. Yellow heart balloons. It's whatever. I'll just pop all of those and then buy the tree right away. So at least we can start getting some money after this wave is done. And then we just do as we do and pour money back into this thing until it's too expensive to care about, like a pet. And that point of being too expensive is right now. So now we have black balloons, which which immediately get popped to green, but then they split down the middle, which means my shots can't hit them directly anymore. See, look, and yep, right through the middle. Don't you hate it when you're accidentally super accurate? Like the shot is impossible to miss, but you still somehow manage to miss. I don't know if that's skill or anti-skill, but that also makes it super nice when balloons group up like this, because really no matter where you aim, you always hit something. So just a few more waves like that, especially with these white balloons coming in, which do the same thing as the black ones, and it really doesn't make a difference at all in the scheme of this game, which is something I'm looking forward to, because I hope it can, I don't know, it'd be cool if it could pop one of these black or white balloons in one go, but that's probably just me getting super hopeful. I guess I'll just have to buy the upgrade and find out. Sharpshooter. It comes with a scope. Cool. Can I use it? No, I can't. That's okay. Scopes really don't matter anyway. Hey, look, and now it looks like an eyeball. And the rest are blue balloons, so... Whoa, a crit? There's crits in this game? What's a crit gonna do against a balloon? Just pop it harder? Well, that round seemed to go pretty well, so let's just move on to the next one. Yellow balloons. Oh yeah, they go away instantly. And there's a crit there too. What is the point of these crits? And uh, purple balloons, how do you do? They just go away instantly. Oh yes. They're on the same level as the black and white ones, right? So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm just gonna get eternally confused whenever I see crit pop up with this thing. So I guess it just means that there's a chance for it to pop better. I mean, it pops pretty good right now. The pink balloons go away right away. And a zebra balloon, how do you do? Okay, the zebra gets popped down to red, which is insane. A big line of pink balloons and they all go bye-bye a few at a time. There we go with the weird crits. Like even the crits on the zebra just pop it down to red. So what's the difference? Just make you feel good? Is this like one of those placebo things where if you think you're getting a crit, then you're getting a crit? I don't know. I'm just going to buy a plane and then hopefully it doesn't screw me over by releasing fast balloons right away from the slow ones that I can pop instantly. And it seems like the fire rate might have gotten an increase, but I can... I can't really tell. It is also kind of crazy. The last upgrade cost 72,000 money. That's one of this plasma monkey. And looking through this, that might be the most expensive final upgrade. It's as much as the dark saber. Well, not dark saber, but you know, dark lord lightsaber. You know what I mean? I guess the rule goes if it's more expensive, then it's stronger. I don't know. That's what I'm going to go with. Anyway, the steel balloons get popped down. To oh, it was red that time. Hold on. I just popped one and it went down to yellow. Is that a crit doing its thing? Hello, you. Red balloons. Huh. I literally just popped one and it went yellow. So why are they all going red now? I'm not upset, I'm just confused. So now I have enough to put it into the banana tree for the plantation. 
And that's what I was worried about. The plane just unleashes all the fast balloons. Although it is nice when the plane makes the steel balloons black so they can get popped instantly. And I think it is time I bought myself a tank. I think everyone reaches that point where they're just like, you know what? I should buy a tank. And then you buy it and it's like the best thing ever for like five minutes until you realize you have nowhere to put it. And then you end up on a watch list and then all of a sudden you can't fly anywhere and it's just not a good time. But hey, you have a tank. And it's a good thing I got that camo upgrade because this is always where the camo balloons show up and I somehow forget that. I mean, really, what does it matter when they show up if they just get popped right away anyway? There's nothing to worry about, except the balloon's trying to do some jukes around that side of the tree. So I just do my own jukes by cutting through the middle. So if I can pop the big balloons before they get crazy, then I think I'll be in good hands. Though it is difficult to see them when they get mixed in with all the normal ones. Nothing too crazy, though. And I'll just give my friend in the sky a bit of an upgrade there. And then I'll get the tax shooter ranked up a bit. Slap him down. So now we have rainbow balloons. How well do you fare against the crossbow? Blue balloons now. I also don't like how many pink balloons my friends are spawning in. So if I can spot the ones that contain them, like the black and white balloons, and then pop those first, I should be in good hands. And I also keep walking way too far away from this tax shooter. Like, I end up circling the island just to keep him away and it's like nah I should be walking next to the tax shooter and I could just reposition this thing but I think he's in the best spot right now you see now the balloons have to pass through the middle of the island so they're getting victimized by the tax shooter so I'll just walk by the tax shooter this way and then have it happen again and it all works out in the end all my friends are having the time of their life popping all these balloons and I get the occasional crit that I don't understand the significance of and then I get a bunch of free money so I think I do understand the crits a little bit I did just hit a zebra one and then it popped all the way down like instantly so I I guess it has the chance to pop them a little better, which is nice, but I don't know why it took me this long to figure it out. And it really doesn't matter to crit on these lower ones that just get popped instantly. So you just kind of have to hope for it hitting one of the bigger ones, which is how crits work usually. So it all pans out nicely, I think. Surprise. And that yellow balloon just pierced right through the smoke to hit me. That was rude. That is one thing I kind of miss is that there's no like hit sound whenever you get hit by a balloon anymore, which is a real shame because otherwise it could just be like, you know, bombarding me and I wouldn't know about it. Unless that's the idea, sneaky developer you. And it is kind of dangerous popping those rainbow heart balloons because I don't have the regrow blocker yet. So really we could just be getting a never-ending cycle of balloon population inflation which i guess would be like double inflation because you know they're balloons but as long as they all get popped in the end it shouldn't really be an issue and we finally get to round 40 so let's see how the moab holds up getting a crit on the moab is a nice touch i think and it it takes a little bit. Oh, that's not going to be fun later. Unless the mega crossbow just like instantly hits a Moab and takes it out. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself. So after that wave, I can afford another upgrade for my plane, a machine gun for my tank so we can have more fun, and a few more upgrades for the attack shooter. Things are looking pretty good right now, and they're sounding really good too. Just never ending popping. And it's a good thing that there's plenty of zebra balloons because that means plenty of crits. So now I actually enjoy the crits instead of just confused by their existence. Because now I'm meeting balloons that I can actually apply the crits to. And even without the crits, I can enjoy popping a lot of them at once. Bruh. So maybe it might be time to get the regrow blocker because all these rainbow heart balloons are making me a little uneasy. Because the last thing I need is just a large cloud of balloons because I can't pop them all. And so they just regrow and then they divide and then they regrow and then they divide. These are supposed to be balloons, not cells. So anyway, regrow blocker. That should make me feel better about things. And it does take two shots to get through the ceramic ones. But it does bring them down to a nice poppable black and white level. So I can't complain too much. I just gotta be careful by the next time we get another Moab because they don't go down as quickly as I'd like them to. So maybe that means it's time for me to work towards this Moab barrage. Or an another tax shooter upgrade and that upgrade is working very nicely i love how fast they're popping it's just too bad there's only one upgrade path for the tax shooter not the ring of fire upgrade that i know exists and this is a lot of pink balloons that i'm just zipping by thankfully i can outrun them all oh now we have reinforced steel balloons where do you end up and hit it down the blue i can be okay with that and these reinforced balloons whoa wow i just took out a reinforced ceramic with a crit that is nice this crossbow has had quite a few surprises which i've been thoroughly enjoying it still takes a little bit. Like, we're almost around 50, and I haven't even gotten the next crossbow upgrade yet. But I am just going to go off of the mindset that more expensive means more powerful, so it should have good things for us. I just would like to have something a little more manageable by the time more Moab show up. And this is a long line of green balloons that are showing up. Thankfully, they can all get outpaced pretty easily. And I think I just saw a ceramic balloon withstand a crit. So does it need two of them in order to be popped? 
that one went down right away. I don't know. Chris is just weird to figure out. Anyway, let's bring all these guys by my trusty tax shooter for all the popping sounds to go right into my ears. And then I guess I do see what people are saying about just like, you know, plant it down again so it can have even more fun. But then it also means I have to wait like five minutes to place it down again. So I think I'll just leave it in the middle and bring the balloons to it. Also, my mind keeps trying to read that number as 2008, but it is a good number because even though there's more Moab showing up, we should be able to afford the super banana upgrades in a little bit, as in like right now. So I gotta work my way back to the tree before the round ends. So let's just plug in the money and plug it in. There we go, super bananas. And once this round is done, delicious money. So now we just gotta deal with these camo ceramic balloons. And we actually got up to 10,000 pretty quickly, which is good because that means I can get the next crossbow sooner. And I'm starting to be a little weird with the movement. This is not gonna be good for me later on, but I'm alive right now, so I'm just gonna go with it. Bringing the Moab as close to the texture as possible, as in driving right through it, and then bring it around again so it can all get popped down to absolute nothingness. And yeah, this is what I was afraid of. There's even more Moab showing up now. And my poor little crossbow cannot keep up, even with crits. Thankfully, they're slow. So my friends have even more time to shoot them, and that one came out of nowhere. Already up to 22,000. All right, we should be good to go after this wave. Also, the pop-in is happening so much, it's starting to sound hollow. And as soon as we collect the bananas from this tree, please... No, it's just short. Ah, why does the game constantly have to do this to me? Like, you want to start the wave with the next gun, but nope, you don't have enough. And oh, look, five seconds later, you have enough money. So I think I'm just going to work my way over to the stand because the game pauses and then buy the crossbow master and then quickly run away. Ooh, some nice yellows on the cross. Whoa, it's an automatic crossbow. Oh my goodness. Wow, I like this. I thought it was just gonna be stronger, but no, it's faster too. Oh, that is nice. Man, now I can't even imagine how strong the last one is gonna be. Boy, I don't really feel worried about the Moabs anymore. Hello, just worried about that one. It's kind of funny though. No matter how strong they are, it's like they hit once and then they take away one heart, but then they bounce back and forth a little bit so they can hit twice. It's a little weird. So I just gotta be careful about standing in the middle as much as I like the tax shooter. Now I just have to slowly work my way up to 72,000 money for the last upgrade. My oh my. I think I'll just give him armor piercing shells in the meantime because I know he likes popping balloons as much as I do. An automatic crossbow is not something I was expecting to see, but here we are. And it's got some cool yellow trim on it. It's kind of like a Nerf gun almost. Or those like tiny pocket crossbows that they were selling everywhere that could like pierce a phone book. Anyone remember seeing those? Anyone have one? I wanted one, but then I realized it didn't have a phone book lying around to shoot. So I'm like, aw. So I guess I just get to live out in my dreams of shooting things with a crossbow in this game. And it is nice seeing the crits take out the steel balloons right away. All I can think about whenever I call like the balloons the steel balloons is just the endless comments. They're like, it's light balloons, it's not steel balloons. Blah, 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 blah. And then every time I say Moab, there's always like three people that name every single tier of Moab. So it's nice to see something stay consistent. Anyway, we're at the red Moab now. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! See, just by saying that alone, I made like 20 people extremely upset. But it really doesn't matter because I'm just going to pop all these balloons anyway and be done with it. And now we're up to 30,000 again, which means I can... Oh, not quite. The specter's a little more than that. So excuse me while I spend a singular round making up the difference. Yeah, we're not quite the 40,000, so I think I can afford to just get this because it'll be extremely good for me. It is fun watching the specter go because anywhere it looks, like all the balloons just get destroyed in an instant. 40,000 means we are over halfway to getting the big crossbow. And now we should be able to just hold off on everything. And I really should be waiting until I have the barrage again before starting the next wave because that's what got me last time. I do wish this thing was launching more crits now that I know what the crits actually do. Increased fire rate kind of helps with that. And it's really sketchy just circumnavigating the island like this because at any point a blimp could just pop out of nowhere. And then that's the end of my run. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, and we might. We might get it now. 74,000, that's definitely gotta be over the number, right? Oh yes, Bloon Hunter, it's mine. A fancy red crossbow, and I can actually see through the scope this time. Oh, I can't wait to see what this thing does. Give me balloons. Hello, balloons. Oh, oh, they got a bit of a tracer round happening. Very cool, and I think the crit rate did go up. Is every hit a crit now? Oh my gosh, I think it is. Oh, that's gonna be really nice. <laughs> what? Hold on. I just watched the Moab get deleted. I did not expect the Moab to go down that fast. That caught me so off guard. I also like how instead of the crossbow bolts getting stronger individually, it's just like, yeah, everything's a crit. I really want to see what this thing can do against a red one. Speaking of, 
Uh huh. Oh my. This is insane. Like, do I even need the barrage anymore? This thing is so powerful. I mean, I'll probably need it by the time there's like six of the black ones. I'm just seeing the word crit show up everywhere. And it's like, you don't even need to call it a crit anymore. It's just normal hits now. Hello, you. You don't scare me anymore. Go down to blue. That but did I do. And then you're dead. And now I have enough money to maybe buy the last hero upgrade. Yeah. He's looking good. He's also got the little red bits on him like my gun does. I mean, crossbow, it's not really a gun. It is kind of cool watching the tracer rounds shoot out. Whoa, being right next to a pipe and then a blimp pops out. Thankfully, there's enough room on the edge of the island where I can avoid that. Then they all get disappeared instantly. It's like a jump scare. I would say it's weird to be jump scared by a balloon, but then again, I remember how people were after the movie It came out. So the lesson is people will be scared by anything. Not me though. There's nothing I really need to be worried about anymore. Hello, you trying to show up behind me. That's cute. Okay, they last a little bit of time, but not really too much to be concerned about. First, there's a bunch of blue Moabs, and there's red Moabs that become blue Moabs, and then there's a bunch of other things that just get destroyed immediately. Right and whoa, right. balloons are right on me, didn't even notice. I thought my friends were covering my sides. 158,000 monies. Man, I wish there were more things I could spend money on just so I could spend money. Is this how rich people feel? So now I just have to be careful about which direction I run right away because there's a lot of these guys coming in. Woo, jumping over that. And we make a clean getaway. And now now all the black ones are taken care of because I had to do it manually. It's like, oh yeah, how many crits are you getting? Yes. So round 97 starts with reinforced uh, big black ones and all these reinforced ceramics just get melted instantly. But now we get to take a good old overpowered crossbow to the big purple one. Let's see how fastly you get whittled down. Uh huh. It's not, it's not the fastest. He's actually making it pretty far, even with everything shooting at it. No wonder this is a final boss. Okay, that was pretty crazy. And now we'll just melt it the rest of the way down. So yeah, needless to say, if it was just me, I would be having quite a bit of trouble with that. Thankfully, I have all these support things and the crossbow gives us the victory. So like I said, the crossbow is pretty much a primitive sniper, which automatically makes it awesome. So thank you guys for watching this video and sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Calvin K, Mr. Cripple One, Master Roshi, Ancient Elixir, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Cowboy, Donomoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, and Splattersax.